Welcome to another lesson by Dr. Denise Robinson and today I'm going to show you the Desmos calculator online which is um, just the way the schools are using for graphing calculators. This uh, program is just so much fun and incredibly accessible and there's no way I can possibly hit everything uh, that it can do, just know it can. So I'm going to just take you through some basics. First thing I'm going to do is Control O for a new graph. So I'm just going to do Control O. I'm using JAWS talking software. It doesn't matter. NVDA, any talking software will be fine. Uh, so I'm using JAWS. And so let's just do Control O. Control O plus new blank graph lid. Well, that's easy enough. New uh, blank graph. I'm just going to hit enter on that. Now, if I wanted to open another one or a form, I can just down arrow through all of this. Next. Edit level one curve, click save, save button. Okay, and uh, yes, I was working on a graph and I deleted it all out. So I could have saved my blank document, but why? Uh, and I named one cats. But anyway, uh, on your own, just down arrow through absolutely everything uh, that you have here. But we're just going to go ahead and type in the formulas and make parabolas and lines and everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, up arrow back to blank document. Save, edit level one curve, graph, land. Plus new graph. Okay, and hit enter. Okay. Now, right off the bat, visually you can see a keyboard come up at the bottom. That's just no big deal for a blind child. If it is a low vision child, and I'm going to take you through a whole bunch of low vision uh, features, but control plus, which we absolutely love, so just just control plus. Okay, and really a low vision child can make it um, as high as they want, but I think once they see how fast it is on the keyboard, my guess is they will not want to go this route, but they've got this route if they want it. I'm going to control zero and go back down to normal. Now, the next thing I want to show you is insert F5. Okay, well, I just did that. Control O. I am using Chrome. I haven't tried it out in Firefox yet. It's probably uh, basically the same. I have noticed Chrome is a little bit better with the more sophisticated programs, uh, but I will probably try it out in Firefox also. Just know this all works in Chrome. Now, all of this is in here. The next thing we really want to do is... Untitled Graph Button. Yeah, Untitled Graph Button. I guarantee you, your teacher is going to want you to label this graph. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and hit enter. And hit enter again, because it only brings you there. Okay, so much fun. And you will see, this is so much fun. And hit enter. Okay, now, Insert F5 will take you to a boatload of other things, especially when you need to share it back to your teacher or whatnot. But let's go ahead and start doing formulas. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and hit e, e for edit. Enter for forms mode on. And let's go ahead and start. Oops, let me hush them up so I can actually talk instead of JAWS. Let's go ahead and type in our formula. Now I'm going to do shift. I love that. He tells you, okay, you can't, you've got to keep doing something else. So I'm going to do X to superscript 2, and I'm going to do shift 6 for my superscript. And then I'm going to do, now, visually, you can already see this graph uh, forming. And what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to show you how you can really enhance it for a low vision. So I'm going to do shift six for a superscript. And then hit two. And then I'm going to hit, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit minus, which is a dash. And then I'm going to do one half, and it's just one slash two. One slash two. Oh, I love that. So, uh, it tells me absolutely everything that I've just done, and now let's listen to this wonderful parabola. So I'm going to Alt-T to jump into my graph first. Lots of information there, so it tells you absolutely everything. So now when I use my arrow keys, I can actually hear what it's doing. So I'm just going to hit my right arrow. X colon, X colon 0 0 X, X colon 0 okay, I've got to believe everybody is just going, oh, that's so cool. So I could go all the way up. Now I'm going to just hit my left arrow and go back down the other way. And it tells you everything. 
the X, the Y, absolutely everything. Now you can hear the different sound, okay, because you know now it's going to the left. Okay, now it's going up. You hear that? Okay, it even gets better. Now we're going to hit the letter H and it's going to run the whole gamut of this line. So let's hit H. We love that. Okay, so, and when it's done, we're going to go ahead and hit escape and get back to our edit box. Escape. Expression list complementary region. Expression one colon colon y colon equals colon x colon superscript two. Baseline minus yep. fraction one over two. End fraction as graph. The audio trace. Press alt plus key. We know that. I'm just going to hit my control and I'm going to hit enter so I can enter another uh, item. Enter. Expression two colon edit. Here we go. Ready? And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, I may use wrong expressions just because I love this so much. And I'm just really excited to show you guys all this. So let's go ahead and do y, y equals, I'm going to do, go ahead and do cosine. And here we go. Okay, I'm just going to hush them up and I'll give you guys directions. So I'm going to Alt-T to jump into this. Okay, I'm going to hush them up, but you get the idea. Uh, of what he's going to tell you all the time. He's always going to give you directions on what to do. So let's go ahead and write arrow. X colon zero, X colon, X colon, X colon zero point eight. Okay, and of course, I'm going to hush him up. Every single time you move one little bit of a fraction, it's going to tell you, let's go ahead and go left. X colon zero, X colon, X colon zero point intercept. X colon minus, X colon minus okay. zero, X colon minus Completely zero different sound. Eight. Okay, now let's get the idea of this full graph. Now let's hit H. H, play graph. Now, I want you to really listen to the, it's kind of a shh, a hush, a uh, swish sound at the bottom when it hits the graph, and it's a pop when it hits the top, which tells the child what type of graph this is. And at first, when you do this with a blind child, it's really, now, if you have an embosser, tiger embosser, you can actually emboss this out. You can use braille with this. You can do everything with this. <clears throat> if you don't have a graphic embosser, just quickly take, grab a draftsman and do it. So the child, when they start to listen to this, uh, they're gonna get total feedback. So I'm gonna hit H again and really listen to the sound at the bottom and the sound at the top. Here we go. H. Okay, the pop pop as when it's crossing over the X, Y, and then of course the sh at the bottom, sh the top, ready? Let's listen again, H. H. Okay, uh, it's just incredible. Okay, you hit escape, so we can go ahead and go back and do some more formulas. Okay, hit enter. Okay, let's do something really easy. I don't know, how about... No, 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 not two, X. X equals two. I love something really, really simple. Okay, so now X equals two, that's just a dot on two. Very, very easy, let's Alt T. Yeah, once again, three graphs. It's showing you that you're doing all of this now. If I go ahead and go up. X colon 2, Y colon 2, Y colon minus 0 0.2 over 3. And it's telling me whether I hit up or down arrow, I'm going down because, of course, I'm in the negative numbers. X colon 2, intersection with X colon 2. Y oh, colon intersection. Don't you love that? Intersection with expression 2, X colon 2. Yeah, colon we zero, love that. Six. So whether I'm hitting left, right, up, or down, it's going to tell me exactly the direction I'm going. X colon 2. Okay? X colon 2. What? X colon 2. What? Intercepted X colon 2. Y Intercepted. Colon we love it. X colon 2. What? X colon 2. Okay. X colon 2. Now, the most fun, of course, is hitting H. So let's hit H. H. Play the graph. Okay. So you'll notice it pops every time it hits the X, Y, every single time it crossovers another line, etc., etc. I think you guys are getting the idea. Let's go ahead and hit escape and get out. Okay. So um, now for our low vision kids, let's just add another little caveat to this. So let's go ahead and insert F5 because we want to go to our settings. Select the board field dialog. List one, list two. Open graph left parent control plus our right field dialog. List one, G. Graph settings, controls, graph settings. Okay, graph settings, settings. That's where we want to be. And I'm going to the top right hand corner just in case you guys want to know that. Enter, type of text. Graph and enter effort. again. Graph settings, complementary region. Projector mode, toggle button. Yeah, projector mode. Now watch the power of this. Space, toggle button, press, projector okay. mode. 
So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna increase the size even more. More Now, you can really adjust these, so let's tab in. Okay, if you wanna get rid of the grid, spacebar gets rid of the grid. But basically, we're learning X, Y lines, so I'm thinking we probably need to put that back. Tab again. Cartesian grid button to activate press space R. Okay, Cartesian, let's go ahead and move to the next one. Polar grid button to activate Polar space. grid. Okay, you're gonna need that also, nice and circular, but I don't want that, so I'm gonna shift tab back. Cartesian grid button space. And Cartesian. Anyway, as you can you can tap through all of this, even label this. So let's go ahead and just I'm just quickly go through. So if we want to access, uh, let's just do, okay, this is just to show you, and cats, okay, and as you can see, we've got the dogs and we've got the cats. Uh, on our X and our Y. Anyway, that just gives you an idea of how we go about this. But I'm going to hit escape so I can get back into my graph. Escape, escape. Okay, and here I am. So, so we know that's edit boxes, so caps lock, uh, shift colon for PC cursor. Application mode, double tap to activate the virtual PC cursor. Tells me I need a double tap. Active virtual PC. And then E, the top, expression one colon and one which seven. immediately pops you back to your edit boxes. Let's tab through. Okay, let's go ahead and hit enter. And let's try another one. Okay, so now that you know those little special features, let's go ahead and create a new graph and so I can do one more thing with you just so you get the idea of this. So much fun that Google Chrome to move to it. Okay, we know it's control O. Control O plus new blank graph link. Oh, yeah, graph. I'm just gonna Space. do a new blank. Okay, we already know insert F5 will take us to the titles and all, all sorts of things like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do something even uh, more fun, just let's follow along. Hey, equals, equals. Left bracket, left bracket, quote unquote equals left bracket, right bracket, square brackets cannot be empty. Okay, see, and it tells us, and that's what I was holding on for, is uh, just so you can hear that he's constantly giving you feedback to, hey, you need to keep going, you need to do something. One, comma, two, comma, three, three right bracket, right okay. bracket, quote unquote equals left bracket, one, two, three, right bracket equals three element list. See, and it tells you the whole thing, A equals bracket, one, two, three, close bracket, A equals three element list. We love that, hit enter. So we're gonna do three brackets, of course, our three element list. I could change it to something else, but I'm gonna do three. Okay, now here comes the fun formula. Y, quote y equals, equals, quote y quote equals, you need something on both sides. See, and it tells me, I love it, let's keep going. A, quote of star, times S, I, N. And now you can actually visually see this happen. Is right parenthesis quote y quote equals quote oh yeah sign left parenthesis quote x quote right parenthesis at graph the audio trace yep plus d. So I have three, and I don't even know what to tell you these. All I know is the formulas. Um, but you have these three incredible wavy lines because, of course, I told it I wanted a three element list, and then, of course, I did a y equals a times sin, and then x. Okay, so let's jump in here and see how cool this is. Alt T. Alt T. Graph paper showing one graph dot graph paper read only. Audio trace on. Use arrow keys to navigate yep. to your graph. And we already know that. So zero. I start at zero zero. So let's go ahead and move to the right first. X colon zero. X colon x colon x colon x colon one x colon one x remove x colon pi over two. Okay. Now, yep. Pi over two. We love. Let's go. Uh, go ahead and go left. X cold. X cold. X cold. X cold. X cold. X zero. X cold. X X X X. Now we have three lines. So now when I hit H, really listen to the different audio of each. And of course, if you're low vision, you can either do. Up. Alert, alert, zoom, cold, oh, and by the way, I could have changed the grid lines also in there and just done bold. Um, but anyway, when I hit H, the low vision child can even follow this. So let's just hit H. H. Okay, listen again. Total different sound. Total different sound, even lower. Okay, I think everybody gets the idea. Desmos is incredible fun. Uh, it's incredibly accessible and truly the blind low vision child can do anything anyone else is doing in class. Now at this point I would insert F5, I would save it and then I'd insert F5 and hit S for share and send it right to my teacher. That easy, that fun. Yes, we love this program. Control. For a quick note, if you need to know all the shortcuts, just control slash and there they are. 
So I have to do is copy them out, put them in Word, do whatever you need to, and all the nice hotkeys are right there. But of course we have Insert F5 and we have a lot more, but just to give you an idea of how great Desmos Calculator is.